Good morning guys. So I'm on my way, well I'm leaving now to go judge a Shark Tank competition. It's a favor to my aunt. It's at her school. So I plan on doing my hair but sleep was more important because I was up late. But at least I did my makeup so I'm gonna get going so I'm not late and I'll record what I can. Can you clean up? All right, so I couldn't film really anything of the Shark Tank because it was non-stop. There were, oh my gosh, I think like 10 different groups and we had to get them all done in like less than two hours. So it was just back to back to back. I was riding so fast, but it was really fun and it was kind of interesting. And kids are so creative. That's one thing I would definitely say. And then the other thing I'll say is I need to stop putting hormones in foods because those kids looked way older than what I did when I was in high school. Way older. I just met my sister and Peanut for one of his doctor's appointments and now I'm heading home. I am so exhausted. I was telling her I'm so exhausted. We were supposed to go see Beauty and the Beast later, but I'm like, I'm so tired. And honestly, everything inside of me wants to go to sleep. Everything inside of me. And I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep now. It's just like bad news, the insomnia. But it just, it sounds so good. It sounds so good to go to sleep right now. I don't know. I'm just torn, you know? It's, part of me knows I shouldn't go to sleep, but the other part of me is like, shouldn't I get sleep when I can? You know? So I have to get up early, you know, tomorrow. It's like, this is how I, how I convince myself to do things I shouldn't do, is I have a conversation with myself. <laughs> I guess time will tell if I end up going to sleep or not. Guys, don't judge me. I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep and I woke up an hour later and I was like, cool, an hour. And then I fell back asleep and I woke up 30 minutes later. I think that's as far as it went. But oh my gosh, I could have slept and slept and slept and slept. But I literally got out of my bed like kicking and screaming. <laughs> so unfortunately, because I slept and I have the makeup on, I think I have to probably take it all off and start over instead of what I probably could have done, which was throw on some lashes and film. I have to start from scratch. Now that my lip swelling has pretty much gone down for the most part, I'm going to um, film those videos that I need to film. And the, like I mentioned yesterday, the haul is pretty much done, so I just gotta finish, finish that up and hopefully get that uploading before I start filming to be productive. I know. Lots of mess. I, my life is my life is in shambles. <laughs> I'm telling you, the the weekends that I work on Saturday, it's like what a difference. I don't get as much done, or I can't get as much done because it's that one extra day that I definitely need. So this weekend, I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So that'll be good. That'll be very very good. So I caught him laying in the dirt pile. It's the one part of the yard that doesn't have grass on it. And it actually kind of dips a little low, so from inside the house, it looks like he's like about to roll into the canal. But yes, so he likes to lay like right there, right there in the dirt. The moment I turn around, he's gonna go back to it. And he knows he's not supposed to be there. All right, guys, guys, listen, listen, pay attention. Here's what we're gonna do. Hugo, pay attention, pay attention. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna load the dishwasher. Why are we gonna load the dishwasher? Because we're out of forks. We need forks, right? Would you guys agree? No? Nobody cares about the fork situation? We're out of forks. Come on. Don't you know what that means? That means we can't eat anything with a fork. We're eating everything with knives and spoons. It's just crazy talk. Nobody cares about the fork situation? Nobody? I mean, I thought it was kind of important. If you guys are going to just lay there, playing with your toys, then I'll just load the dishwasher myself then. Just lay there. That's okay. I got this. I'm going to show you guys something I got recently. I know my hair looks crazy, and I have part of my makeup done because I got hungry. Well, I got hungry, and I wanted to make something to eat, and I realized I didn't have forks, which is what ended up being the fork situation. <laughs> so dishwasher's running, which is great because it was on my to-do list. I was just putting it off. Right. 
don't you hate when you get an incomplete package? Well, let's figure out where the other part of this. So I got new collars for the dogs. Hugo's getting blue this time. As you guys know, there aren't that many cute patterns for male dogs on. Uh, that's the only thing they have for male dogs on Amazon are like stupid camo and stuff like that. Like Hugo is not a camouflage type dog, right? He's sensitive. Oh, great. It says shipped with a little caution exclamation point. Let's see. Your package is still on the way, but will arrive later than originally expected due to transit delay. Literally coming from the same company. Explain. It's so annoying. I'm getting so annoyed with Amazon. And the other thing I got is a shedding blade. So I used to use these at the animal hospital I worked at, and they were amazing for removing like the dead hair off a dog, so this is supposed to help a lot with shedding. I actually had one, or have one, that I had gotten for my previous dog, but when she when she passed away, we put, or when we put her to sleep, we put all of her things in a bin, and I just, I did not feel right, like, reusing any of her bowls or anything like that, so here I am buying another one of these. I've definitely needed this for a long time, but I've been putting it off, but it's just the amount of sweeping that I do, <laughs> sweeping and vacuuming, it's just non-stop with these dogs and their hair. There's two of them. So this helps a lot. You do it outside, obviously, and there's like little teeth, but they're not like sharp enough to like scratch the dog. All it does is like it removes any dead hair. It's not gonna be pulling any hair that's not already like loose. So that's where the wear shedding comes from. It falls off and then it's kind of like sitting there until they scratch or shake or whatever, or it just gradually falls off. And now, especially that we're going to summer, even though it's summer basically around, but it's getting a lot hotter. I'm noticing a lot more shedding. So what I'll probably do is when I use this on them outside, I will show you. You definitely want to use this outside because there's going to be a lot of hair, a lot of hair. And then one side has smaller teeth than the other side, obviously, for shorter versus longer dogs. Excuse you. He has this thing where he like scratches a bed, which makes a lot of sense when it's like one of those fluffy beds that, you know, you're fluffing up, but this bed is like flat. like. There's no fluffing to be done, buddy. It's like, it's really silly. Yeah. Still haven't filmed yet. We're working on it. Story of my life. The moment I am ready to film, I am exhausted and hungry. I still gotta like, let my curls dry and then like, comb through them, but I can't eat anything. Cause everything I had planned on eating is got some sort of oil in it. Avocado, which an avocado has oil in it natural oils or whatever, and it's gonna mess up my lipstick. And this is a kind of color that if you try to take it off, it, you, yeah, it's everywhere. It's very hard to take this off, like, gently. <sighs> I need to push through. I need to push through. I need to film something, something. But I still have to, I have to start up my room. And, I mean, it totally makes a difference starting later in the day and earlier in the day. Like, earlier in the day is obviously the best thing to do. Okay, so I at least filmed my favorites video, even though I still have to do like the b-roll for it. And Hugo doesn't want to eat. Why? Because I have wet dog food for him. I don't have the baby food for him. He's eaten every single meal like this when I put the baby food. And the wet dog food? I'm not interested. And it's not the cheap kind. It's the expensive, grain-free, $3 a can kind. He's just like pacing around. He's like... I'm holding out for the good stuff. It's already 11 o'clock. I still haven't edited yesterday's vlog. It's like something's always suffering. There's not enough hours in the day. I still haven't even eaten yet. It's annoying. I should probably go do that. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night for this vlog. I have to be up so early. Uh, at least I got one video filmed, sort of. There's always tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day.